Hi, welcome you all. Uh, today we'll be discussing the important viva questions that are likely to be asked to you in your oral histology examination. Before starting this video, I hope that you have watched the video lecture uh, as to avoid any confusions in this video. So let's begin. The first question we have here is what is the fate of dental lamina? So what happens to the dental lamina is it degenerates and forms the cell rest of series. And what is the total activity period of dental lamina, which is five years? question is which structure is developed from which tissue so the enamel is formed from the enamel organ the dentin and pulp are developed from the dental papilla and the supporting tissue which are the periodontal ligaments the alveolar bone and the cementum that is developed from the dental follicle what are the structures that are visible in the cap stage so first will be the outer enamel epithelium that is cuboidal in shape and it is present in the convexity Next is the inner enamel epithelium which is present in the concavity and it is columnar or tall columnar in shape. The next is stellate reticulum which is present in the center and it is star or polygonal shaped. The transitory structures, so there is enamel knot, enamel septum, enamel cord and enamel navel. If you are not aware of the structures then please click on this video and you will find it. So early bell stage, what are the structures that we see here? The inner enamel uh, epithelium is differentiated into ameloblast, the dental papilla is differentiated into odontoblast, uh, stratum intermedium layer is seen and the stellate reticulum uh, cells are seen. The advanced bell stage and the characteristic features that we see there are first is the uh, reversal of nutrition in which the stellate reticulum collapses and uh, the enamel organ supplied by surrounding blood vessels. The second we see here is uh, the buds, the bud is completely detached from the dental lamina. Just that we see in advanced bell stage is the enamel matrix deposition starts and the dentin matrix deposition starts. Next is what is the cervical loop? So it is present in the cervical portion of the tooth and it is a junction between outer enamel epithelium and inner enamel epithelium. In between we can also see the stellate reticulum and the stratum intermedium. Later this uh, stratum intermedium and the stellate reticulum disappears and we get the HERS or Hertwig's epithelial root sheet. HERS, so what is it composed of? It is composed of only outer and inner enamel epithelium. What does it form? It forms the radicular dentin. And what is the remnant of HERS called? It is called the cell rest of molasses. And the, these cell rest of molasses will later form the enamel pulse. Next is what is the final fate of the enamel organ? See, enamel formation is completed the outer and inner enamel epithelium or these are the ameloblasts now they have come together and this these form the reduced enamel epithelium which is two to three cell layer thick and it forms a protective covering around the newly formed tooth and this is called the reduced enamel epithelium final portion is what are the physiologic processes that we see during the tooth formation so first is the initiation then the histodifferentiation then morphodifferentiation and then the opposition